I don't play many video games, but Cuphead is definitely one that I need to get into. How's it going, movie watchers? Thank you guys for stopping by my channel. Today we're talking about the new Netflix animated series, The Cuphead Show. If this is the first time you are on my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and click that bell notification and like button to support this channel. Following the misadventures of lovable Cuphead and his cautious but easily swayed brother Mugman as they scour the Inkwell Isles in search of fun and adventure. The Cuphead game is a game I've wanted to play for quite some time. It's actually sitting in my Amazon wishlist and I just haven't pulled the trigger on it yet, but after watching this show, I really would like to play it. The Cuphead game was released in 2017 is a run and gun video game developed and published by Studio MDHR. It's inspired by the rubber hose style from the golden age of American animation. And that easily is translated into this 12 episode series. Each episode is about 14 minutes long. I've seen enough of the Cuphead video game and Funko Pops to know most of the bosses in here. And each episode focuses on a different boss leading up to more of the devil towards the, the end of the series. We do get a lot of the bosses including the Root Pack, King Dice, Ribby and Croaks in their own episodes as Cuphead and Mugman go out on these fun adventures and run into these bosses and have an adventure that does feel similar to a video game of them running back and forth like a side scroll. It looks really good for the show, but as we get kind of closer towards the end of the series, a more cohesive story is in play as the devil is trying to get Cuphead and Mugman's soul. And so we have more of a central focus towards the end of the show rather than uh, most of the episodes are just kind of one and done things focused on something that Cuphead and Mugman are going through as they encounter the boss of the episode, much like probably a level within the Cuphead game. And so I've seen a lot of the video game, like I said, I've seen gameplay, I've seen footage, I know what the animation style looks like. and. Here within the show, it looks really good. The animation that is in the game is easily translated to the show in such a really, really good way. Like you just look at it and you're in awe of how it's created and how this kind of smaller video game created such a fan base to where now we have it in a show on netflix they don't sacrifice what made that video game so unique they don't sacrifice the kind of old timey feel to it it looks much like that video game and i love that style of animation it feels classic definitely feels like it's ripped out of that era where this animation was so big it just looks so good and with so many different bosses so many different places that cuphead and mugman are visiting and uh, the different colors within here, it all pops. It is beautiful to look at. Yes, they tell stories throughout each episode. Cuphead and Mugman kind of get into some mishaps and that causes the bosses of these episodes to kind of lose their cool. And that's when they start to attack Cuphead and Mugman. And that's when they have to protect themselves, much like that video game. So it's incorporating a story that's really fun, quick and simple but then also has those fun, exciting moments at the end. And so each story, like I said, is just kind of one off. It's one and done kind of story. But it really does feel like a fun show where we have Cuphead and Mugman that uh, don't want to do their chores and they want to go to a carnival. By doing that, it gives it that show feel, but also bring in the elements of the video game. Like I said, I haven't played the video game, so I don't know what the stories were like in the video game but here the stories are a lot of fun and it really makes cuphead and mugman have a really solid relationship they really do feel like brothers and it's fun to watch them you know just be brothers and do fun things and uh, they kind of live a carefree life now a lot of the characters that are in the cuphead game are in here they do live with the elder kettle 
and he uh, takes care of them. We have the king. We have King Dice and the Devil, who have a lot more to do. Uh, after reading a little more into the game, after reading a little more into the game, the Devil and King Dice were some of the uh, the bigger bosses, and they do have a stronger role within this series. I just absolutely love the Cuphead show. This makes me want to go on to Amazon, add cuphead video game to cart and purchase it and play it i've always wanted to play i was really excited when it came to the nintendo switch so you know probably pull the trigger soon and actually play it uh, it's always been a game that i wanted to explore and i think this show just gave me a chance to realize that hey i really like to play this game i like the characters the bosses are a lot of fun and the stories itself in here are a lot of fun. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and play the game now. So before I give you my score for the Cuphead show, make sure to check out my channel. Here I do movie reviews, trailer reactions, ranking videos, tier lists, all that fun movie related content that you see on YouTube. I do it all here, so hit that subscribe button and get it all in one spot. I'm gonna go ahead and give the Cuphead show a B plus. Thank you guys for checking my review for the Cuphead show, the new Netflix animated series. Have you guys seen it by chance? what do you think about it? Let me know in the comment section down below and stay tuned for more up and coming content like this. My name is Just Watches Movies, and you guys stay classy, YouTube.